Hey Dan, here is your finished false accusation glove. Um, this glove is kind of weird because this is number five of five, but I have one more to do. Um, <laughs> so basically when I first made these, I made, it was going to be out of ten. Uh, so my first one was one of ten. <clears throat> then I just went on uh, two through five, three through five, four through five, five through five. And then the same customer who bought one of ten wanted one more, so... <laughs> this one is number five of five, but the next one will be number six of ten. <laughs> uh, this is a mess. Uh, it's only the remake that has the messed up numbers like that, but... You know, at this point it's just hilarious, so... I, I might just write some random number on the last one. <laughs> But, I am very happy with this. I hope your son will like this. I believe this is a graduation present. Uh, so this glove can be a little bit obnoxious to put on, especially with the proper sized cuff. So, just be aware that it might be a little bit funky trying to get it on the first few times. <clears throat> Something neat that happened on this one is I actually blew some holes in here, which is good. Um, it's not necessarily accurate to this particular glove, but quite a few of the remakes had holes blown in some of the copper, so it is an accurate detail, just not necessarily accurate to this specific glove, if that makes any sense. Just trying to show off the hinges and the caps. And here's a better look at the blades, too. Anyway, both you, Dan, and your son, let me know what you guys think. I hope you like it. I will get this out to you in the next few days. I have a Mortal Kombat glove I want to finish, and then I'll probably go for a shipping run. But yeah, hope you like it, and let me know what uh, everyone thinks.